أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وبعد. In our previous lesson, we learned about the seller of the idol, the seller of the idol, and uh, we learned also who is the son of the seller of the idols. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. If you know the answer, please raise up your hand like this. Okay? Who is the seller of the idols? Yes, who is the seller of the idols? Ah, Zara was the seller of the idols. What were the people at the, from that village used to do with the idols? Yes? They were? Worship. They worship the idols. Where do Azar put those idols? Yes? In a, big house. In a very big house. Thank you very much. You all remember everything. Okay? Okay. What is the name of the son of Azara? Yes, Abdurrahman. Who else can try? Najma? Yes, Yasmina. Ibrahim. Ibrahim is the son of Azara. Okay, today we are going to learn about the advices that Ibrahim gave to his father regarding the idols. In our previous lesson, we said Ibrahim used to see people coming to the idols, worshipping them, asking them of good things, give me child, give us rain, give us food. Ibrahim used to wonder and look at the people. Why do these people talk to an idol that cannot eat, cannot talk, cannot even chase away the flies from themselves, cannot even defend themselves? But why are these people so crazy? They are asking idols to give them things. He used to wonder. So in our lesson of today is Nasiha to Ibrahim. Ibrahim started giving advice to his people and also to his father. He started saying, وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَقُولُ إِلِّ وَالِدِهِ Ibrahim used to say to his dad, يَا أَبِي, O oh my dad, لِمَاذَا تَعْبُدُ هَذِهِ الْأَسْنَامِ Why do you worship these idols? He used to ask his dad every time, Daddy, can I ask you something? Why are you worshipping these idols? وَيَا أَبِي, لِمَاذَا تَسْجُدُ لِهَذِهِ الْأَسْنَامِ Why do you prostrate? Why do you make sujood for these idols? He used to ask, is that every now and then? Ya Abi, Limada Tasalu Hadihil Asnam. Why are you asking these Asnam, these idols, to give you things while they cannot talk? They cannot even answer your questions. Why do you talk to these idols? Why do you need to ask them to give you something? They cannot even defend themselves. He continued asking his dad, Inna Hadihil Asnama la tatakallam wa la tasma. Daddy, indeed, these idols cannot speak, cannot hear what you are saying to them. You are busy asking them, why don't give me this, give me this, oh my God, give me this. But they cannot even hear what you are saying. They cannot even reply. They cannot even talk to yourself, talking to you. وَإِنَّ هَذِهِ الْأَسْنَامَ لَا تَضُرُّ وَلَا تَنْفَعَ My dad, my father, this idol cannot harm anybody, cannot harm anybody. Wala tanfa cannot give even a benefit. Any it cannot help anybody. It doesn't give benefit or harm. Then why are you giving them foods and drinks? They cannot eat. They cannot speak. They cannot defend themselves. They are just made of stones, just looking at you like this. They cannot do anything for you. They cannot harm you. They cannot give you any good things. Now, no benefit they can give you. But why are you giving them foods and drinks? Inna hadihi al-asnama ya abi la ta'kulu wa la tashrab. Oh my father, these idols cannot eat and cannot drink. Wa kana azaru yagdabu wa la yafham. Azar used to get angry when this small boy asked him of all these questions. He used to be angry. Who are you and what are you telling me? You are a very small boy. Us, all the people of this village, we worship these idols. They give us everything. 
And you, young boy like this, what do you know? What are you telling me now? He used to be angry at his own son. وَكَانَ إِبْرَاهِيمُ يَنْسَحُ لِقَوْمِهِ وَكَانَ النَّاسِ يَقْضَبُونَ وَلَا يَفْحَمُونَ Ibrahim also gives advice to his people, the people of that village. He tells them the same thing he's telling his dad. Oh my people, the people of our village, the good people of our village, why are you worshipping this thing? The thing that cannot give you rain, cannot even defend themselves. Why are you asking them? You ask them something, like you are, you are crying in, in front of uh, this asnam, these idols, asking them to give you food. I'm hungry, I don't have children, please give me children. They cannot even hear. He used to wonder. Ibrahim was a very intelligent young child, but he understand more than everybody in that village. He asked the, the people of the, that village, all oh my people, don't you use your own head? Don't you use your brain? Don't you use your mind? Why are, why are you asking the thing that you made them with your own hands from stones, and yet you are asking them to give you things you want? You are giving them food. They, they are wasting. You are giving them food, expecting the stone to come down, sit down, wash their hands, and eat their food. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. Also to Ibrahim, the same doesn't make sense to him. So he used to ask them, why? The people of this village, what is wrong with you? Qala Ibrahimu, ana aksirul asnama idha dahab al nas, wa hina idhin yafhamun nas. Then Ibrahim, one day, he, he, he sit down by himself. He said, I am going to destroy and cut, cut, cut and break into pieces all these idols. If everybody leaves this area, they went far somewhere like for a celebration or they have an event. If they leave the village, I myself, I will take axe, I will go there and I break all those idols into pieces. They are going to see me. Then indeed, when I break them and I destroy them, they will start think. They will start. They will start thinking. They will start learning that these idols cannot help themselves. Whoever comes to break them, they cannot help themselves to defend themselves. So Ibrahim decided to destroy them. Inshallah, wa ilahuna. We are going to stop our kista today here. Inshallah, next lesson we are going to see and learn what Ibrahim did to those idols. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.